There is hardly any part of the country that is not facing one security challenge or the other. The northeast remains the epicenter of Boko Haram insurgency. Northwest and North Central are contending with banditry, kidnapping and farmer header conflict. The Niger Delta remains restive. The southern parts of the country are preoccupied with agitation for self-rule. While security agencies continue to work hard to keep criminals at bay, they are overstretched. It is to stem the tide that several persons are calling for the establishment of state police, an idea that many continue to oppose. The bill seeking to create state police is one of the proposed laws in the 10th Assembly. The country, by its constitution, has specifically stated that there shall be a state, there shall be one police force for the country. Therefore, the issue of having a police force in any other part of the nation does not have any weight. In the same way, the, state, the, the uh, Police Act of Nigeria, both of 20, uh, 2004 as well as the current one of 2020, has also indicated that there shall be one police. Those who oppose the bill often cite the overbearing influence of state governors for their position. And the establishment of state police will empower local authorities to address these challenges more effectively, ensuring quicker response and better understanding of local security dynamics. However, the fact of utilizing the state police system is fraught with complexity that demands careful consideration. We must ensure reforms in the directions. Of decentralizing the current centralized police system, if that is the preferred cause, about the time back in a robust data framework, adequate resources, and strict oversight mechanism to prevent abuse of police power and to uphold the rule of law. One of the recommendations is for the government to adopt a political will to make a decision that best suits the country. The session was attended by political scientists, lawyers, civil society organizations, and other professionals. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.